We're live, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right. With uh, Neil Borg. Borde. 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 A digital warrior, he calls himself. I think one of the most informed uh, people on all the movements around the world, including the Q movement, including all the stuff on royalty. Um, he talks to me about some things that I can't follow him on. So today we're going to try to do a conversation. Focus on one thing. No, we, we, can, we can focus on everything, but, but I want to have a conversation where the, the regular person that's kind of trying to figure the world out could, could still follow us. And um, what is, so the first question, Neil, would be, what is a digital warrior? Digital warrior. So this is a, a terminology that's recently come about pretty much through the QAnon movement, right? So let's forget about the QAnon movement for now. Yeah, because you're going to have to explain that. Yeah. Okay. So digital soldiers are, are people who have information that they've come about to understand and are helping the average person who, does, who don't have time okay. to research this stuff to kind of show them information that would potentially spark so them that then mm -hmm. going out and searching so, and so what are they looking what are you what are you looking for what, what are your people looking for we're looking to wake up as many people as possible basically because there's a lot of information um that's going to come out that's supposed to come out i'm not going to say it's going to go nothing's definite mm -hmm. right this is a, there's a battle going on yeah. there's a so, silent so, battle going what on. what battle are we talking about so, so to, to make it like let's go to the first level what what's this battle all about so when it, when you get right down to it it really is a battle between good and evil mm -hmm. okay um love it and and evil has been basically having the upper hand mm -hmm. up until i would say three years ago mm -hmm. um which obviously coincides with trump's election mm -hmm. and trump by no means is is the reason why this is happening trump is just mm -hmm being used as a vessel to have the people behind him and backing him mm -hmm. do what's necessary to bring humanity back to mm -hmm. uh, a prosperous state, basically. So people that are digital warriors, are they all in Trump's camp or, 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 or are they just digital warriors for, for truth and good? Both. I would say both. You know, there's, there's still a lot of people that, um, for whatever reasons, you know, maybe don't like what Trump uh, or how Trump says things, and sure he could say it a little bit more diplomatically. Sure he could, mm -hmm. he could uh, be more politically correct. But I think that's him not being that way is what got him elected in the mm -hmm. first place. So when I was watching him, I remember me and my friend, uh, who's in the military, who's in Canadian military, we were both watching the election progress, and um, we were just loving what was coming out of his mouth all the time because he was so bold. He was so bold, and he was just so off the cuff. Oh, and he said things that no politician on the planet has ever said. No one ever spoke so like that. So unconventional. He spoke like how me and you could mm -hmm. speak, just in, in a regular conversation, which was just completely alien in the political environment, you know? It seems like all the people that become digital soldiers become Trump supporters. Well, almost all of them. Because it's not necessarily... Is it propaganda? No, it's not, it's not necessarily that they're backing Trump specifically. It's, they're backing the movement behind Trump. They're backing... The, the defeat of the cabal. The, they're backing literally the people. So, so the there's feet of, of the, those two the, words we're going to have to define: sure. Q and the cabal. Yeah. So, but they all end up thinking that the Trump is like all these war, digital warriors. Always in the end, they end up going by Trump's side. And is it because Trump? Is it propaganda? Because I'm trying to be the devil's advocate here. Is it propaganda, or is it that Trump is really an incredible man? Well, I think he's an incredible person. I mean, he's still human. Obviously, he has flaws like everybody else. I don't mm -hmm. think any great leader is mm -hmm. perfect. I don't think anybody, any human being is perfect. But um, once it is known about what he's done for humanity, mm -hmm. at this point in our history, mm -hmm. he's going to be re probably go down in history as the best, as the greatest president, as the greatest leader. Uh, because he allowed... Mm -hmm. 
for a, a, a far more peaceful transition to greatness, mm -hmm. not just for the U.S., but for literally the entire mm -hmm. world. And he's allowed for that. Because the, the, the uh, ulterior, um, the uh, ulterior way that it was going to happen would have been would have been devastating. So we, we have to talk about a lot of things. You're, you're assuming a lot of things like what have happened. And there's a lot of things that we don't we don't know. Mm -hmm. it is why is the United States such an okay? So I want to talk about like the virus first of all because yeah. this is coronavirus mm -hmm. very important. But I I also want to make the, link the dots for 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 everything that, that you know and for, and for the people listening to try to get a grasp on how our world really functions and why it functions that way like you understand it i, I understand I, it to, to an extent but there's, there's tons of there's stuff a lot of things happening yeah there's i, I know so but, but it seems like of the people that that kind of figure things out they they, they start to follow one route and, and they end up in your route and they and, and they start kind of waking up you know so tell me why is the united states like so important in the the whole geopolitical world of, of, of how things work and, and why is it affecting why is the united states of america yeah. affecting us today it's funny we're canadian mm -hmm. i know more about the u.s history constitution mm -hmm. by far than canada's because the u.s constitution with all of its amendments literally is the greatest form of rights toward an individual, toward, toward a human being on this planet. Land of the brave, home of the free. Yeah, or vice versa. Okay. Land of the free, home oh, of the brave. Yeah. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're literally the last country mm -hmm. on the planet that's capable of actually delivering freedom, that, that they actually had freedom, because they didn't have freedom before. They're still fighting for their freedom now. But they have the basis or the foundation from the Constitution um, that would allow for freedom for all. This is why they're, they're the last ones, because because Canada is pretty much all controlled. All of pretty much Europe is pretty much controlled, all controlled by by the cabal, by the cabal, okay, so by a group okay, of okay. of. So so so, okay, tell me why U.S. is so important and who is the cabal? But but let's finish on the U.S. Sure. Why is this country deciding all of the entire world? Affairs. What's 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 happened there? Well, the U.S. became the superpower, mm -hmm. the main superpower, mm -hmm. especially after World War. If II. you don't have that answer, it's okay, by the way. No, but it, it became the 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 superpower. Because it's a question right? that I've, I've had, yeah. and I'm not sure you, you can you can tell me specifically, but I, I know you have a lot of answers. But but I'll tell you, tell you what I think. Mm -hmm. I think the U.S. has been used as a tool of, of globalizing the whole world as one of the most important armies. And they're just going into countries, no matter which president is in. And um, I think it's it, this country has become so powerful, ingrained with 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 politics and power and money, that it, it it's just uh, uh, all the of the universal powers on earth are, are just there, trying to manipulate the the tool to get the power around the world. I mean, yeah, the U.S. was basically the policeman of the world. Mm -hmm. They, so they became, but they they have they have been at war ever since the end of World War II. Because mm -hmm. after World War II, had Korea and Vietnam, mm -hmm. like they were always in war, mm -hmm. always nation building, and mm -hmm. always on a false pretense. Right? They would sell it to the to, mm -hmm. to their citizens and the world. Mm -hmm. It was for this reason, and then mm -hmm. it usually comes out later on. Well, that reason was mm -hmm. full of crap. So, what are you referring to? What what wars are you referring to? Or what well, events? We can go the Iraq War, mm -hmm. most recently under yes, in under, under Bush. Bush it was under Bush. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, you know they all they sold it to the world as they have weapons of mass destruction, weapons of mass destruction, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. the reason why they're going in there to liberate them. But mm -hmm. it's all false. It's all false. They didn't find a damn thing. It's the UN inspectors told them that, that there's nothing. It's a pretext. And they just went in there anyways. So it's and, a, pre and, it's a pretext and, too. To destabilization, from what I understand, it, they were planning on, mm -hmm. you know, destabilizing Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, putting which they did. Putting central banks in, as far so as what one, I know, was putting central banks in. One of their main plans, mm -hmm. the globalist plans, was mm -hmm. to scatter everybody around the world, right? Create mass refugees, as you can see what happened in Europe, mm -hmm. in North America. 
everybody's taking in all these different refugees from all these different places in the world Why? that they themselves are the, are the perpetrators of, of doing. They're the ones who displaced everybody. In Why? Because to, they're, they're to, to divide. To divide. It's basically to divide, pretty much. When you bring hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, of refugees into other people's countries... It screws everything up. It screws everything up because they don't know how to live in our society. So it's like they don't know our laws. They don't know our customs. So it creates animosity. This it creates, dissonance. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. So when they divide us, they stay in power. And they're still doing that now with this whole race war. So, yeah, with, 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 with the riots we're having yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. And when you say they... like. Okay, and I, I want you to link the U.S. to the royal family. And, but when you say they, because you know a lot about the royal family, and we spoke about it yesterday. But, but when you say they, who is they? For, so, for, 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 for somebody that's tuning in, and he's listening to us talk, and he's like, yeah. who, who the fuck are we talking There's about? There's so much. I mean, to really go to the beginning, you'd have to go back to the, the Rothschilds. And who Europe. are? They're a banking elite cartel that pretty much controls the entire banking system we live under. So there are a whole bunch of brothers, I, I, I understand. So, well, right now they're kind of, they're still scattered. Yeah. So many, you know, 200 or 300 years ago, I can't remember exactly what it was, mm -hmm. um, they had Rothschild, the original Rothschild who changes, who changed his name to Rothschild and, and he was, he was a successful banker mm -hmm. and he had, I think four or five sons and he sent each of his sons mm -hmm. out to different countries in Europe yeah. with the intention on, of controlling the banking system. Banking system. And I think the pivotal moment was in UK actually when Nathaniel Roth, the Rothschild, um, found out that at the battle of Waterloo that UK had won that battle. And, um, he got the word back quicker because he actually had, he, he, you remember the Pony Express where the, where the guy on the horse would, yeah. would, would drive back and tell the authorities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. information? That's how they got information back to each other. Well, Rothschilds actually had a pigeon messaging system, which is far better, far faster. So he got the news within two hours that the UK won the war, mm -hmm. the battle at Waterloo, um, which was almost a full day or more before the actual uh, mm -hmm. monarchy knew. So what he was able to do was he started selling all of his, all of his interest in stocks, making it seem as though, well, UK lost the war. Uh. Mr. Rothschild is selling everything. We should start selling everything too, so we can, you know. Manipulating least, the market. Manipulating the market. Even the, even the royal family started selling things. This is how crazy it got. So even the royal family was dumping all of their their holdings and all kinds of companies. By the end of the day, he advised the Rothschild, Mr. Rothschild advised his handlers to buy everything up. He ended up buying it pennies on the dollar. So if something was worth a dollar, he ended up buying it for 10 cents, if not This more. makes me think, and I'm sorry to cut you yeah. off. It makes me think of the stories I heard of Soros, how he, he killed England by buying their, their or currency or whatever he did, he almost he almost bankrupted the country. He did that to a few countries. Makes me think yeah. of the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what they all do? They use debt as a means to gain power. They definitely do that because they finance both sides of the war. I mean, the Rothschilds finance, I think, from my understanding, both sides of every war, major war we've had, right? Um, especially in World War II. And from my, it, it's strange because. Oh, I mean, I can get into some pretty crazy no, stuff. No, I don't want to go too no, too far okay, into, okay. into no, let's it. Keep, let's keep it. Let's everything we were we were taught about World War II is 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 not even exactly how it happened, mm -hmm. right? Um, but regardless, I mean, we have mm -hmm. a, we have a banking system that that is controlled one hundred percent by a small group of elite mm -hmm. families, mm -hmm. right? So at that time when he did take over um, UK, basically, and, and and the Bank of England, he basically had. The royalty by the balls, literally. The Rothschild. The Rothschild had the, had, had the royal family, like. So he's not related. I thought they were. Well, he actually bred into them. He actually mandated um, breeding into royal bloodline, and that's how basically the Rothschilds um, got into the royal family. And they do have the Rothschilds are illegitimate 
the Windsors, the House of Windsor is illegitimate royalty. They're not real royalty from my understanding, which is why you see that the queen is gone. Okay. Buckingham Palace is we, we have to, up. We have, to, we have to get back to that. But yeah. I want to, we're going to, this is a bit wild what I want to say because, uh, but I think this is good. I, I heard through uh, David Icke, I know you don't like David Icke that much, but, mm-hmm. but, but I, I, want, I want to just touch on that subject because yeah, I think yeah. it's pretty cool. And because uh, uh, you're a bit spiritual too, the way that you said uh, between good and bad, but I heard that the royal family and that entire bloodline, and I, I also heard that every single president has has the royal family bloodline. Mm. Anyway, except Obama. No, Obama's mother supposedly is is, okay. is related to Rothschilds. Okay. Supposedly. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I heard that like the evil in the world is it, like these guys, the family and and the Rothschilds and, and the royal family. Are like the representation of evil in, 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 in all of humanity, and so that they use their power. I think David Ike said like that they were uh, controlled by like uh, as reptilians. Is that what it is? Uh, okay, but you don't you want to believe in no. that? Okay, <laughs> okay, fine, fine. No, but but it's just that it's. I think you were the perfect guy I could ask this question to because I hear stuff and I, I just try to ask questions and and. Anyways, but I heard that all the, the evil shit happening in the world really comes from that bloodline. Like it's from them, and they they kind of perpetuate that through mm. through through their, their their occult through the stuff that they do. They do, do occult practices. They do what what, 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 what? Okay, so could we could we talk about this? Sure. sure, sure. Is it? You think this is too heavy for the regular person? Probably. <laughs> so I know a little bit about the occult practices, but why why would a royal family do occult things? Like, why the heck? What's happening? <laughs> it, it, it gives them power. Because it's not, at this point, it's not even about uh, money. They have, they, they own money. They could just print up billion dollars and use it if they want to. They don't care. Don't care. Now, for them, it's about control. Control, population reduction, and prolonging their life. It, from what I see. From what I. It's like if the world belongs to them. To them, they, it does. To them, we're just chattel. We're animals. We we don't we don't uh, mean nothing. We're just a piece of. We're a bond to them. We're literally just a piece of paper to them. Is the United States of America still? Uh, do they still have to uh, talk? Like, not talk to them, but but I know the the, the Commonwealth of Canada. We, we still have to give like a percentage of the country's yeah. wealth. I don't know. I, I, but is, how is the U.S. related to this family? Well, through the the, the Federal Reserve. Yeah, right. Which, which is a Rothschild owned and controlled bank, as well as the royal family and stuff yeah. like that. So, through, through, through the banks? Through the banks. The, the Federal Reserve is not federal at all, it's a private bank. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's controlled, they, I mean, they control the economy. Control you know, the economy. You, 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 you put out a lot of money out there, the economy is great. You retract all the money and take in all those loans, and you create, you create mm-hmm. uh, recessions and depressions. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So, through the Federal Reserve, they, they've been able to destroy the US dollar. I mean, when the Federal Reserve came into existence in 1912, to now, it's lost like 99% of its value, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and when I mean value, I mean like, you could have went to the corner store and got a piece of bread for five cents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Whereas they, they, now they, it's like four bucks. They create inflation through, exactly, through, through money right? printing. They just money print, money print. Money. But that, that's a, a result of too much government, control. Like too much control basically is never good on, on a society. And taxing. Ever. Basically what it comes down to is the compound interest. And we here in Canada have that problem as well, especially with this government. Right? The compound interest is what's 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 evil. And it's not supposed to operate that in Canada because we have the Bank of Canada, which you own, which I own. Mm-hmm. Every Canadian citizen owns the Bank of Canada, yet we're not utilizing the Bank of Canada for its intended means. We used to, but um, that was squashed with uh, Pierre Elliott Trudeau in the 70s when he brought us into the global uh he sold the well, country. He sold the country out without even knowing it. And, and he didn't know it. Oh, he knew it. Absolutely. He was whatever. <laughs> he knew it. But we don't talk about it. The, the media doesn't talk about it because the media is controlled as well in Canada. Mm-hmm. More so than the States, I would say. What really surprised me is that you as a digital warrior and me as a, like an artist, whatever, are, are asking these questions and make, connecting the dots. Mm-hmm. And... and we don't hear this discussion happening anywhere mm. else in the world. Yeah. We don't hear people just dis- like telling us these things. They're, they do tell us these things, 
but but on the internet, but but nowhere on live media, media yeah. mainstream media, are we having this type of conversation about history and how it, it's affecting us like right now? No, for sure. I, I, and the virus. Let's talk about the virus. And, 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 <laughs> you're just like chuckling. It's like it's like this is a joke or what? But uh, what's like? What does the virus mean to you? Like, where is it? Where is it coming from? So the virus. My God, this is it's just like from my understanding, one of the cabal's last ditched efforts to regain power politically in the U.S. This in is, the U.S. This is, this is about trying to get Trump out of power because everything that Trump's done since he's been elected, all the executive orders he signed, all the um, laws that he's, you know, passing and supporting, mm -hmm. all the stuff that he's saying publicly. I mean, he literally is saying the global globalization is not happening under his watch. He's mm -hmm. literally dismantling the UN reputation. He's dim dismantled already the World Health Organization uh, and he's, he's actually de defunded them. So he's t tearing down all the globalization structures that they've built up for decades now. Through Bushes, both Bushes, both the, Bushes, the Clintons, Clintons uh, and Obama. Obama, except um, through through Trump. Like he's, through, he's through not. Trump. He's the military backing him mm -hmm. is what's doing everything here now. I mean, and also potentially some other things which we get into, but it's pretty far because there's, there's all these uh, theories that. Um, mm -hmm. John F. Kennedy Jr. Yeah. might still be alive, but I don't let's know not get into that yet. But 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 okay. So so, um, tell us. Uh, okay, so so, so I, I like this, but I don't think we, we covered all the points on on, on like the, the power in in Washington and all that. But it, it doesn't matter. What is? Uh, I know you're a digital warrior, but I understood the Q movement. Uh, two months ago, and I, I, I uh, threw another guy on the, on the web, and I was like, "Q, what's Q?" And then I see your Q <laughs> on your page. I'm like, picture, "Bro, man. what's Q, man?" And you're like, "Q, man, that's, that's a Q." And then we like that's when we really started getting talking more. But what is Q? So Q is an anonymous, supposedly an, an anonymous, not just a person; it's a group. In my belief, it's a group. We don't know officially, obviously, but it seems to be it's a, it's a group. It's a military intelligence in the United States that's very close to Trump. And when I mean very close, he, they're pretty much right next to him. Probably somebody. Probably uh, somebody very, very close to him that's always, that he's always around. And it's basically military intelligence, right? And they're putting out posts, information, also disinformation, purposely, um, about things happening, about factual occurrences that the mainstream media does not report on because the mainstream media is all is all controlled anyways, right? Mm -hmm. Fox, CNN, MSNBC, all of them. They're all just controlled left-right paradigm. Um, controlled by the powers, the money powers of the world? Pretty much. Yeah. There's only six owners? Uh, six companies that control all of them. Those six companies are all controlled. The Fortune 500, Fortune 100, they're all controlled. So, so Q is... These groups of people that that what are they doing? Like what, they're they're talking to they're talking to Trump's base. Like let me let me be the devil's advocate here. Uh, I, I I often say yeah yeah Q is like just a propaganda movement and I'm, just, mm. I'm playing the devil's advocate mm. just just for fun. Mm. It's a propaganda movement to get Trump reelected yeah. and he's just talking to his, his base through cryptid messages through his speeches yeah. through cryptid networks and all you got all these fans participating and trying to figure out what Trump is going to do or say. And he holds Q-tips and he, he drinks his water and he, he does all sorts of shit. QG water. Yeah, all sorts of shit. So there's a lot of symbolism in, in the Q posts, right? Um, and you, you really have to like, and I don't follow it 100%. I don't have the time to follow 100%. But the parts that I do follow, for anyone who researches it seriously enough, mm -hmm. You can plainly see that there certainly is fact into the whole movement. There certainly is military intelligence, actual real intelligence in those Q posts that nobody other than people close to the president would know about. That's clear. Um, so, well, well, well I, 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 I personally, I know that it's coming from, from, from their camp. 
like, like you, you, there's no doubt about it. Like, I, for the as least, as the, I don't know much about it, but I know it's coming from their camp because mm-hmm. they're they're doing all these things and it's like leading people on and they're they're. But but I don't I don't th- well I think it's a propaganda movement. But I think it's uh, and I think this will get Trump reelected because you got hardcore followers here. I think what's going to get Trump reelected is a lot of it is what's happening now. First of all, the media tries to make you think that there's more. There's more people against him than for him. If that was the fact, he would have lost the last, last election because mm-hmm. Hillary Clinton was, if you look at the polls, it was like 80% that she was going to win, 90% that she was going to win. So, yes, she still got her ass whooped, mm-hmm. right? Um, crooked Hillary. Crooked Hillary. And um, You think she's going to end up in jail? Well, I hope so. She deserves to. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when, you, when you know all the stuff that she's done to Haiti, to mm-hmm. other people... All the death that has All the happened people dying her, around her. Her and Bill. Uh, a lot of people dying, man. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. That sounds weird. But. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like a joke now. You know what I mean? I don't want to be... I don't want to be... Uh, Hillary. I don't want to be... I don't want to be... Uh, well, they just hire a fucking a killer, right? And they get people killed? Pretty much, yeah. There's sleepers all over the U.S., yeah. What do you mean sleepers? Sleepers are people that get activated. Not like a spy, but like a, a domestic... Uh, mm-hmm. Assassin. assassin. How, how much do you think it costs to get somebody killed that way? I don't know. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> I, I was uh, my brother uh, Eric. No, yeah, I'll tell you why. Because my brother Eric um, tells me he says, "Dad, he says, how much do you think it costs to get somebody killed?" I was like, "I don't know." Fuck. He Depends says, on "How desperate the person is, I guess." And he says, "What? Five hundred bucks? Thousand bucks?" Uh, I said, "I don't know." He says, you "See, if you think that with five hundred bucks or a thousand bucks we get somebody killed," he says, "What do you think fucking the money of governments can do, or the money of nations?" And, and, and all this geopolitics bullshit where they have $500 billion, like the royal family, what do you think they can do? Mm. <laughs> and so, and I tell people like, when this virus hit, the first thing I told people is I, I told them, listen, if you don't think biowarfare exists, I mean, fuck. You, know, you, don't, you don't know what, what we're, like, we're not in 20, we're in 2020 here. Bio, mm. biowarfare fucking exists. Sure. And if you don't think there's evil people in the world, that want some like like that can perpetuate a virus on people. Then, you know, I, I like to think that we're, we're, people are nice, and I don't like to focus on all this this fucking royal family bullshit and this fucking Satan, Satan satanic, satanic yeah. stuff that they do. But I, I do know that it exists, and I, I do know that it, they can create like fucking a lot of bad that shit on us. They always forecast what they're going to do before they do it too. So you got to look out for that. Dude. How, they'll, how they'll do they put do it, They'll do it in TV shows. They'll do it in movies. Yeah. Um, going, yeah. They'll they'll for for some reason these satanic people they 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 have this. I don't know if it's a rule, mm-hmm. but they'll tell the populace what they're going to do to them before they actually do it. Because in their minds, if we're stupid enough. To be shown what we're going to be doing to them, and yet still have it happen, then we deserve what we get. That's how they. Do you that's think how they, that's think, how they think? I think they think worse than that. But that's just yeah, one of the things. Plus all the symbolism in Q posts, you'll see it all the time. Symbolism will be their downfall. I, 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 symbolism I will be their I, downfall. There's symbolism in everything. I, I, in in t- in TV shows, in in movies, movies. you'll always see a. A uh, pyramid with the all-seeing eye. In on, our dollar, on our dollar. On our dollar. On the U.S. Um, dollar. But it's pretty place. bad to think. I'm, I'm, I'm opening this fucking bubble of champagne. It's pretty bad to think that. We, we sound like conspiracy theorists. Yeah. Thinking that every fucking person is against us. Like, we sound stupid. But it's like, funny. This, this, this terminology, conspiracy theorists. Want to pop whenever, it? Yeah, go for want to pop it? Let's pop it because you don't have any more alcohol. No, I'm good. Let's chug it down, my bro. <laughs> chug it down. No, I ain't going to pop Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Chug it. You're careful. Like, I'm chugging you're, this. You're, you're, you're driving. You're driving. I'm not chugging that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to breathe. I'm going to chug it. I'm going to But, like, ever since uh, I've been following this and, and understanding stuff, I'm like, fuck, it's so, it's not a good energy to be focusing on all the bad shit that's yeah. happening. It does get to you. You got to do it in small dosages. Like what? Like, what, but, what have we fucking become? Like, but this what? is the thing. There's a great quote. I can't remember the person who said this quote, but it basically goes: the only thing necessary for evil to exist or for evil to mm-hmm. win 
is for good people to do nothing. You understand? Which so so which justifies that you're a digital like But that's soldier. the thing. You can't when given a little bit of information, you know, people see, I, I can see things in case things don't make sense. When 9-11 happened, because that's what it was for me. When September 11th happened, I was like 20, I don't know, 25 years old or 24 mm -hmm. years old. It just didn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. All of the news reports coming out, all of the official stories, the fact that they found passports of the hijackers in the rubble, the fact that... that they the, found passports? The, yeah, they found sounds, passports. That's, that's, that sounds like bullshit. Come right off there. Right? They found... Come on, they, fuck. The, the fucking plane crash and the passport. Canada fucking, had on, jets fuck. up in the air faster than the U.S. They can get jets up at, in like 30 seconds. How come it didn't happen? That it's just everything they said seemed like absolute freaking bullshit. nonsense. And and that's what said... Okay, this is... This, and I started my research. That's that's where I really... That's where you, 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 that's where that's where you woke up. up. That's when I woke up. That is literally when I woke up. And I think it's like that for millions and millions of other people because they just could not yeah. They just could not fathom that nineteen hijackers could do that to the American military. It did not make sense with box cutters. Come on. Oh, fuck. It is so unbelievably stupid. And so this is why I'm doing this, because so many people are waking up right fucking now. Because this virus is bullshit. Yeah, it is bullshit. And people are realizing it, and our governments are maintaining the same narrative that it, it exists, and that we're distancing, social distancing, closing of stores. Like, there's already still stores that are not open, man. The you fuck? notice all the big, the big stores are, are open. open. They're they're open. It's, it's all the open. smaller stores, mom and pop stores. So they're decimating the ordinary middle class again, and the rich are literally getting richer. They've gotten a lot richer. Amazon, Target, Walmart, they're you know, doing record sales. You know when I, te I tell people, like this is the, the reaction that I get. I tell people, hey listen, this virus, uh, it doesn't make sense, right? Like, and they're like, yeah, fuck, you think our government uh, would want to close the whole economy? Like, did, yeah. like for nothing? Like, like you stupid fucking you conspiracy theorists? And that's what they're telling you. Mm. And, I'm, and, I'm, and I, had, I got this many times and at one point I'm like, Fuck. Don't, don't they think there's bigger money than, than just the regular, like, bigger money than just shutting down the economy for three months? There is bigger money. And that bigger money is the money that creates coup d'etat, right? government, that, the money that, that goes into countries, the, the royal family money, the bankers' money. And if, if you don't still get that, that, that there's that kind of money. And, and they have that kind of money and they don't care about money anymore. <laughs> that they can do all sorts of shit. They own money. Why do you think the 9-11 happened? Because I heard, I heard two or three things as to why it happened. I've heard two why it was, it, was, it was organized. So recently... And, and who organized it? Because well, let's talk to people that, that, so, <laughs> that, that were just figuring this out. So there's, there's a couple things. Um, I heard about that there was gold in, inside. There was gold in the basement. That, in the basement. That, that they were the people out. They have to give back to China? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about uh, giving back to China. I also heard there was, a, what was a, there was a hole in the budget of the Pentagon of like $3 trillion. $2 trillion. $2 trillion. I think there was... Somebody was going to court the, the following day, like Hillary was going to court or somebody was going to court. Well, I'm, one of the things that I <laughs> heard was that uh, was about the whole Nassara law. Okay. Right. So that was actually supposed to be implemented September 11th. So Nassara. By who? By which, by which government? Who was? Well, by the administration at the time, which was Bush. Right. Um, and it was brought into law in Bill Clinton's time. And he was, it was forced, okay. from my understanding, it was forcefully signed. They forcefully signed Ooh, it. So, okay, so, sorry for right. so, You know what? Because I, I know nothing yeah. about so, Nassara. So, supposedly. So, well, another digital warrior, she gave me shit yesterday. She was like, what the fuck? You don't know about the. You like Bitcoin and shit, and you don't know about Nassara or Jazara or whatever that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know anything, man. So, like, so, start from the top. So, Nassara is an acronym for National uh, Association of Whatever. But basically, the gist of it is it's basically a jubilee of all debt in the States. That's Nassara. Just Sarah is the global jubilee of all debt. What is so, that? Uh, excuse my... Uh, what is that? What, what's jubilee mean? Jubilee means... Sorry, sorry, bro. So, <laughs> I'm messing fucking vocabulary. I'll change the terminology. It's global forgiveness of all debt. Forgiveness. Basically, you have a mortgage. It's gone. You have credit card debt. It's gone. 
country has massive amounts of debt, it's gone. Should I go load up my Everything. cards? Load up my cards, bro? <laughs> no. Why not? I don't know. I mean, who knows when is it gonna when is it gonna go through? I, I thought about know. it many times. Like, <laughs> so load up the cards and swing, drive to Vegas and go crazy. Bye, yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, but but, no, but okay, so, so, so these laws are because because why the entire, why were they going to get get done under under Bush? Because Bush, Bush is a Republican, so uh, it doesn't matter. Republican. Okay, but what, time, right? how did they matter. come about these like these fucking things? How did they come about? There's a whole backstory which involves the. Farming agricultural group in the U.S., which <laughs> my, so my technical abilities are <laughs> I forgot to put it on airplane mode. So okay, so so basically, Nasara and Nasara. So Nasara is basically um, came about as the farming industry in these states suing the federal government for grievances due to their fraudulent financial um, dealings throughout the entire, all the decades leading up from the time Federal Reserve came into well, by existence. Con constitutional in lawyers? Or so, what well, is it, what they is understood it? that the, the financial system was, was a fraud. Who, the agricultural people? Yeah, the farming community, basically. All, all the farmers in the states ah. that were still independent, not okay. corporate owned and stuff okay, like that, okay. because they were being picked off this by is, corporate offices. Nice, nice and logical, perfect, so. So, they actually are the ones who ended up winning in, in, the, in the superior court, went all the way up to the superior court, okay. winning so their this judgment. Is, this is like a, tr it's a trial. And then it was won. a trial, and they won. But the su Supreme Court justices at the time, one of them, in fact, I can't remember the name of was Kennedy. He was or probably or paid off and shit. Well, he was he was blackmailed. I mean, they're all blackmailed. Uh, That's how you control no, it, kidding, yeah. no kidding. So supposedly it was put on the back burner. This law was was created by the lawyers representing the farmers and it was supposed to do basically that what i just said is forgiveness of all debt in the united states and uh, a forgiveness return. of all that for everybody for everybody for and and so basically if you live in a house how, how big is that bro that's like so oh, that massive. Ever but imagine it globally right not only that though but they were they were everybody's supposed to be receiving money for damages so not only would so, so there's actually a, 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 a judge that that ruled this yes yeah and it was stifled by su Supreme Court justices all the politicians that did know about it were told were warned not to speak of it pretend it doesn't exist but it was supposed to come into effect September 11 2001 and that's oh, when coincidence that was, yeah and then so that's when when <laughs> that's Bush and Bo it was what? actually Bush senior who orchestrated 9/11 for his son the president Bush jr. Um, from my understanding, and um, it didn't obviously go through. And what um, didn't go through? Because they the Jazara and the Sarah, they uh, basically took uh, control. Uh, back. We don't hear about this in the media because, no, no, no. like, the media is our control, right? But so even Canada has our own version of that. We have what's called Comer, C O M E R, mm -hmm. Committee of Economic Monetary, whatever, whatever. So there's, there's an equivalent here of, of the there's agricultural community. Somewhat, well, it's or, basically whatever. it's basically. Um, the fact that you know Bank of Canada is not being utilized. What does the Bank of Canada do? We don't do it. Doesn't do a it's damn thing. Printing, you don't hear about it. Printing currency. Out no, of we borrow money. We print bonds yeah. and we sell it, and yeah. we have to pay them back with compound interest. That, that's where I started understanding. So that. the Bank of Canada is supposed to function by issuing money, mm -hmm. printing money for the benefit of governments, for the federal government, the the provincial government, and mm -hmm. municipalities, up into a third of their budget. So think of a third of the entire federal budget. The Bank of Canada could fund a third of that mm -hmm. with really low interest or no interest at all. And that's how it used to function. But in the 70s, Pierre Trudeau stopped all that and mandated that we have to borrow money from private bank, Rothschild banks, right? Well, what, 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 what the fuck? What, how, can he so it's, how can he sell? How can he do that? Because when you own the media, and the media is the key, right? When you control the media, you control the narrative. Always. People and and the Canadian media here were told, do not report on Comer. Do not report on this whole Bank of Canada lawsuit that, that's been going on. And none of them, none of them has. That's why digital warriors in today are so important. Yeah. Is we that, have to get the information it, out. Is that people search and stuff and they bring it up and, and while the main media does nothing. And... and they're changing the world, I think. 
I think I think people better. I'm seeing on my Twitter account. I'm seeing Democrats, a lot of Democrats, saying I'm supporting Trump now my because God. this is all bullshit. It's it's unbelievable what's happening now. They're, and what's funny is that they're doing it to themselves. This whole virus and, yeah. and this whole riot. We're screwing it up. I mean, look at it. Before these riots, the world is changing, bro. Before these riots, I had to stay six feet away from you. If I didn't, I would be shamed. You would be shamed. But now there's mass riots all over the place, mm. thousands upon thousands of people mm. in the streets, and the media's like, "It's good. They should be doing that because you know they they have uh, mm. they have this racism, and we have to like." But it, it's okay now to be that close to each other. It's, it's so bullshit, mm. the media. It's such bullshit, and people have to wake up I have, and see that. I have one critique with the digital warriors. Okay, and I'll tell you a little story. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and, and you, you, you could you could you could can, we can talk about this. Is um, Lately, I've been doing like a lot of stuff, manifesting in the streets and shit. And um, so I was posting all these QAnon uh, groups and getting all these followers and like, like, yeah, whatever. All these memes were done on me and my brother, man. It was like crazy, all these guys, that, like just going wild, you know, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy, crazy. And then some of these warriors, uh, you actually warned me about this, by the way. When I spoke to you, because uh, me and my brother, we started a site called Digital World Citizen. And we foresaw that the borders would be falling and that we could be like uh, sovereign citizens of, of, a, of a world without barriers, which sounds like a, a globalist plan. Like you told me, yeah, that's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You told me like, yeah, that sounds like a globalist thing. Mm -hmm. but, but, but for me, it's like a te technological thing where uh, we don't try to like castrate the, the masses or control the masses. It's more like... A, uh, citizenship of the internet, whatever. It's digital. It's called digital world citizen. Anyway, some of these warriors, digital warriors, fucking went on the site and we, we pitched a few ideas on there, and we had RFID chip on on a card. Oh, no. Bro, man. No, that's a bad word. <laughs> that's a bad Bro, word. I'm like fuck. How many people they bombarded us and all of our uh, all of my partners? They just went crazy. And apparently, me and Eric were with the Bill and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Now I speak to Bill every day, mm. and uh, we want to just vaccinate people and, and put. <laughs> what, what was this RFID chip? Well, you should have consulted me. No, he bro, doesn't consult. Bro, no, bro, bro, this bro, is why bro, this bro, happened. No, bro, we, we did this in 2017. Mm. The objective was to have decentralized governance, where there's no actual government uh, 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 controlling citizenship. And so in, in, through this quest uh, of, of kind of reuniting people, we put a few ideas there. One was an RFID on a card, whatever, because if, if you're becoming a citizen of the internet, you still need something like a passport. We created a, a blockchain passport, by the way. But, but anyways, it was just an idea. We put RFID uh, identifications, not to fucking chip anybody in the fucking skin there. Like, it's not, that wasn't, that's not the thing. But anyways, these digital warriors, they went crazy, bro. So I have one critique with, with digital warriors is that these people are in their living room searching all sorts of shit and they're, they're digging on people and then they're harassing people like a lot like Bill Gates is getting like, harassed and, and I don't think we can create like I see the search for truth here which is fantastic like never in the world have we had so many people searching for truth like, this is a movement that we've never seen in life uh, and I think we, we'll, because of this, we're gonna have truth. But the only thing, I, the only critique I have with people in their basement doing this kind of shit is that first of all, they shot on me and Eric. That we were, I'm, I'm for this, and now I don't feel like like doing this anymore because I mean, on top of people treating me as a conspiracy theorist, I have all this fucking other group fucking ba bashing me. But thinking you're globalist. Yeah, I'm a globalist, and I'm a traitor, and I'm a traitor, and all that shit, bro, man. Like what the fuck. But uh, I think this quest for truth is, is incredible, and I think, I think the internet has, has brought us here. I think people, digital warriors, should be a bit more moderate and, 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 and search like, for intentions, and we should uh, you know, search for the truth, but, but just be a bit more moderate. And like I called up on a girl, uh, one woman, she was on my site, just posting stuff, whatever, give him, tell us, whatever. And, uh, and I called her up. I found her number. I went on the, for Facebook, and I called her up. <laughs> That's a good story, eh? So I called her up. Her name was uh, T T Tanya or something. I said, "Yeah, Tanya, hi. Uh, this is Daniel Tadros." And she's like, "Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Whatever you found, you, you you found my number." I was like, "Yeah, I just went on your on your Facebook page and found your number." How did you find my number? I was just on your page. 
So yeah, like whatever you're calling me, you're, you're, you're intimidating me. I was like, no. I said, I said, listen, I said, I'm from Broussard. Eric is from, my brother is from Maribel. And I said, we're not the new world order, man. Uh, he's just like, like, relax, you know, because like, you stop like harassing me. Like, you know, and we, we just, we had this conversation, right? I said, and I told her the following thing. I said, the girl I was, I, I was seeing, which you just saw, <laughs> I'm not with her anymore because I'm, treating of all this shit and she's not happy because I'm, I'm way too much into this and now I don't have like I don't have a girlfriend and now like like I have all these people treating me of conspiracy theorists well, I have, plus I have you guys fucking bashing me because you think you fucking found the truth and so my only thing I would say to these digital warriors is to be a bit more moderate this quest for truth is fantastic mm -hmm. like like that's the only reason why we're, we're gonna have truth and and it, it sure put me in, in like like a like kind of a check and balance where I was like okay well, you know, I really got to be like sincere about what I really want to do because these people are going to fucking kill me. But anyways, I I'm not catering to that group. Just as a little note, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I'm not making messages for them. I'm not making these videos for them because they're already awakened. I want to, I want to make these videos for people that are searching, but, um, and all these people are writing to me, by the way, lately for the riots and sending me these video of cops with bricks and shit. So what's this all about? Like. Like I received well, we like are, maybe ten, 10 videos of, of cops with bricks. Like what the fuck? I don't understand. Cops what, with bricks. Well, they're they're preparing bricks. I think they're preparing the bricks to, to create havoc in the riots, yeah. right? Yeah. So bricks so, are being left in the path of the of the protest, which is interesting because um, even the protesters are videotaping it and posting that on. on I, I've seen countless yeah. people saying, "Look, these bricks here. This is a setup. I know what you're trying to do. This is a freaking setup." Obviously, some people won't go along with them. Those are the peaceful protesters. But there's protesters there, agitators who are paid to go there and create damage. They're literally paid. Why? Why? Trump, you listen, yeah. President Trump actually posted a tweet yeah. of a video of a white guy paying these black guys and directing them what to do next. Trump posted that. Right. Trump posted My this. God. He, a president. He's so unorthodox. He's so unorthodox. <laughs> I'm like, That's and the stuff that comes out of my shit. Like, He's the president of the United States. He's posting all this like, like truth bombs, like these things that he's, he's like, 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 like but it's, it's, it's amazing. so unorthodox. So what, what like, what is this? Okay, and you got to tell me about Antifa because I, I don't and, and George Soros and what, like, what is happening? Like the, the way I, I I analyze it is that okay, COVID is over. We need to create something new, and then this is happening. And but what, so COVID have to happen for the primary reason COVID happened. Mm -hmm was to get Trump out of power. The answer, and the next question would be why and how. So how would be, listen mm -hmm. to all the Democratic talking points now. We have to have mail-in voting because people, it's not safe to go outside. You're gonna get coronavirus, you're gonna die. So we need to have mail-in ballots. Everybody gets shipped a ballot in the mail. You vote for who you want to, you send it back, and that's how the voting is gonna be because that is rampant with fraud. And that is the only way, and they know that is the only way they're going to win against Trump because they can't win. With mail-in ballots. With mail-in ballots. Because they can fake them. Because they'll, and it's already, there's lawsuits like crazy. Um, Judicial Watch, which is one of the most important companies that's going after and suing the government on all kinds of things, suing states, suing municipalities for all the illegal activity that they're doing. And, and they've found millions upon millions of illegal during elections shit. during elections they found millions upon millions illegal people voting people who are dead people who don't live there some people are receiving 80 ballots in one location that just don't exist the if somebody tells you that there's no election fraud they're full of crap. there's always an election fraud there's, there's, so everything the is purpose, rigged man everything yeah, is rigged the purpose of this shutdown is for the election to be had at home right which doesn't even make sense. I mean, you stand in line. I stood in line. I don't know how many times to go to freaking Home Depot. Everybody's you know, two meters apart. There's lines. Okay. That's okay. Okay. But we can't do that to go and do an election. I thought it was to create a recession. And when there are times of recession, you can. That's another secondary thing. You know, but it's mostly they're, for they're the, thinking it's mostly a, a certain the section of the economy. If it's it's really, really bad, they can blame it on Trump, and maybe they'll get more votes that way. So. There's, there's a few things that this shutdown mm -hmm. would accomplish for them. But you're, the main you're, you're thing... You're conspiracy theorist, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I told you was fact. So, uh, <laughs> okay. which, okay. Is, which, is, which is really funny about this whole conspiracy theorist. A theorist, a theory is a theory. It's, it's just a hypothesis. That's the CIA, but... I'm talking about actual facts. They so coined that term. Well, yeah. 
when somebody calls me a conspiracy theorist, I laugh it in their face because I say, name one fact that disputes what I just said, and they shut up Bro, because they can't say nothing. I'm a conspiracy theorist, and apparently me and my brother were the controlled opposition. Yo, that was fucking go. funny, man. Yeah. I was like, I became the controlled opposition yeah. to all these two anon groups, but... Uh, I'm a conspiracy fact. That's where we are. We're yeah. conspiracy facts. So, so the CIA coined the term after the John F. Kennedy, uh, everybody was doubting the John F. Kennedy assassination, and so they had to come up with something, which I think the Flat Earth Movement is the same thing, by the way. They just put it on the internet to discredit anything that's happening on the internet, I think. But anyway, so conspiracy theorists was a CIA term that they coined, and so we feel guilty when we talk about conspiracy theories or, or conspiracy facts, and we think, hey, there's something's not wrong, right with our society, and something's right. weird, and I assume we're like fucking labeled as conspiracy theorists, but yeah. apparently so it's the CIA that coined the term, and they, they put it in our media and in our whatever sitcoms or whatever. It's the go to terminology. It's the go to as soon as you're you're you're, you're so, so. But John F. Kennedy is a very important. Well, let's talk about John F. Kennedy. So after the assassination, what was that report called? Uh, the the analysis on the assassination. Uh, uh, me, uh, no, no. Uh, I can't remember. The anyway, so so the the report. Uh, everybody was doubting why he died, and so the CIA apparently invented this term conspiracy theorist to. Go against all the people that were doubting it, and it worked, and it's working till so till today. So many the, people around the car that were just standing there watching his his his, his uh, you know car go by, the whole parade of cars go by, just died in suspicious oh, deaths. They died. This they all died suspiciously, which is weird uh, because they all said that they were hearing shots coming from the grassy knoll, which was just up mm -hmm. up above where they said it couldn't have happened because it was just one shooter, right, Oswald, from behind which is almost an impossible shot, especially those many shots. Um, so yeah, all I, these people around the motorcade died. I heard just yesterday that the guy that did the autopsy on Lloyd, the guy that yeah, just died, George Floyd, yeah. same guy as John F. Kennedy. And same guy, yeah, that's what I heard, bro. John F. Kennedy died in 63, though. Apparently he was the same guy. How old was he? I, I don't know. What do they call yeah. that? That's what I heard. Apparently two or three things a, a brought back the same guy doing like it's like, probably a heart it's over 60 years ago I don't know bro. even if the guy was 12 20 he'd be yeah. like in his 80s right now it's a good analysis but I don't know I, I, I it was it's a youtuber that's really covering all the geopolitics stuff I don't know that's what I heard that's why I'm asking you mm. anyways so yeah. apparently that uh, he, he, maybe the same the same Maybe team? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe it's the same maybe, person uh, mandated. I it, it feels like maybe they're they're all they're all like whenever there's death. You're a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. That's <laughs> insane to you. So, bro, <laughs> bro uh, I've, I've become a conspiracy theorist. Tell me about John F. Kennedy. Tell me so, about how it ties into Trump. So how it ties into Q. So tell Trump, me yeah. tell, tell me that story. That, this is okay, a, so, a very inspiring story. So John F. Kennedy. If you if you listen to some of his speeches, bro, there's, drink some wine. There's, Just there's, do it. Man. There's specific Chuck, speeches. Bro, you're listen to me. This is no, important. I know, stuff. I know, but, but bro, bro uh, he's, this guy's got a Hummer, amazing Hummer. Drink, <laughs> drink, drink it. You're gonna have time to to, to, to drink some water after, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> you see, he's a very uh, uh, responsible. So that's why we can trust him. Like he's careful. I'm a lightweight. Like don't trust me. I'm alcohol. I'm a, I'm a lightweight. You're lightweight. Alright, give me a little bit. Um, so so okay, John F. Kennedy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Love this story. Wanted to prove, because that's enough. <laughs> All right, so John F. Kennedy wanted to do pretty much exactly what, what Trump. Trump is doing now. And Trump. Reagan wanted to do? Uh, I'm not too sure about Reagan. Reagan wanted to do some good things, but they shot Reagan. Uh -huh. And he came in line, kind of a thing. And right? George Washington, too. And Andrew Jackson, too. All these people were growing after the Fed, I think. Jackson. Jackson, Jackson. was. Which is why Trump says he's similar to, to Andrew Jackson. Right? So, okay, so let's keep on going. Sorry, right, so John I'm, not, Kennedy, I'm not gonna interrupt you. John F. Kennedy wanted to get rid of the CIA. He actually signed an executive order, 01111 or something like that, yeah, that would allow the US Treasury to print actual US Treasury money mm -hmm. or notes. Get rid of the Fed. Get rid of the Federal Fed. Reserve, oh. So it seems as though he was doing this without real protection, without real backing by military. The military actually, the military brass back then hated, hated Kennedy. 
they were always at odds because the military back then were wanting to go to war. They wanted to go to, to Cuba. They wanted to invade all these places. And Kennedy's like, no, 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 no. I want peace. I want to just, you know, get along with everybody. Let's have a peaceful time. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, so they got rid of him for... Which for, is the difference uh, with Trump right now because apparently he's like protected. So him. Trump now... Yeah, but, now but fast forward. We're going to go back to yeah, John Kennedy because this is super important. So but, fast but, forward. But, yeah. yeah, so fast forward. There, there have been, you know, decade after get, decade... There are a lot of good patriots in the military, right? The problem is that all the top brass typically are the bad people, right? There are some good ones that made it to the top brass. Obama got rid of almost all of them. If you look at Obama, and Obama is an interesting presidency because he's in there for eight years. He completely decimated the military. He made them, his job, from my understanding, was to make U.S. weak. Military wise and financial wise if you if you look back when he first came into power they had the whole um, Recession right they had the, the housing crisis mm -hmm. and he implemented it all it? yeah and, and they printed up a whole bunch of money and they pumped it back into the banks the creation banks. of Bitcoin the, the year after yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he had the slowest recovery on record in the history of US he could have been so did, did so much amazing things with all that money but the money never really trickled down to the people mm -hmm. Fast forward to Trump, Trump comes into power 2017, gets elected in 2016, comes into power 2017, makes a whole bunch of quick changes, trade deals changes, mm -hmm. and infusion of, of money to the actual businesses mm -hmm. to then hire people and turns the economy around within a year, not even. Mm -hmm. And it's on all four cylinders. It's like pumping like crazy. crazy. It, wasn't that it, it wasn't that everything he did was amazing, it was just common sense. He got rid of a whole bunch of stupid regulations that mm -hmm. Obama implemented to, that stifled businesses that made it impossible for them to even make money and shipped everything out to China, which was happening pretty much well after, after World War II. All the manufacturing went to China because that was the plan to make China the big powerhouse. That's a globalist plan? That was the plan. China was given everything. Why? I don't know. But China was given everything. They made China into like the so powerhouse. He's protected like a lot. Like, he must be, he must have had a few attempts on his life, Trump. We're gonna oh. get back to John F. Kennedy, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. We're gonna keep John F. Sure. This is a good sure. story. Sure. But, but like, he puts this little thing on his cup, like before, like when he talks, like like, like cover on this water. And uh, I mean, doesn't everybody want to kill this guy? Like, if they if they created a virus that shut down four billion people, like this guy must be in danger every second of the day. Yeah, you think sure. they tried to kill him? Oh, I'm sure they they they. I think Q alluded to at least one where there was a missile fired, I think it was off of Seattle at Air Force One, and? and it was intercepted by the, by the military uh, aircraft in the air. Where did this missile come from? I think it was from the water, it was possibly from the water, I think, who, but who, I don't know. Who, who, who? Oh, I don't know. Who knows? We never know. We're never going to know. There's a lot. Supposedly they say once, so a whole bunch of information is coming out now about all the illegal activity and illegal spying that the Obama administration was part of during the 2016. That's Obama Gate? The Obama Gate. And supposedly Obama himself was the one pretty much orchestrating the whole thing. But when you're trying to take down gangsters, you, you need to... And the gangsters is the cabal. Yeah. When, you, when you're trying to take them down, you need to take down... So we, which is the banking system, which need, is the Rothschilds. You, Rothschild, need, you need to take down the people the money them first. Imagine as an analogy... The money in the world. Imagine as an analogy... So Obama's have, protecting them. Well, they're protecting Obama, mm -hmm. right? They're all protecting Obama. They're trying to protect his legacy because he has so much clout still with a lot of people. Still. With a lot of people in the States. People so still, much. Wow. For some reason, they yeah, think that know, his they, presidency they, was amazing. Because they don't know. Him. Whereas... Because he's eloquent. He's, he, he, yeah, he's definitely... I mean, yeah, he and, and me. I was he, glad. He got a Nobel so, Prize, man. And yeah, they, and they, within they, three or four months. And, of, and then, they, and then they, they went into seven countries. Yeah. To install, to install banks, but he got so, the, he got the Nobel supposedly Prize. Supposedly, a lot of information is going to be coming out um, that's going to show that Hillary, Obama, they all did all kinds of treasonous activities. Now, when you're when you're convicted of treason in the states, the penalty is death. Right. So all these people like Brennan, Clapper, um, do you think they Comey, actually put them to death? I don't know. I don't know. Can't do that, like the ex fucking politician. But, uh, but Trump. So is, what's necessary is that a, a vast majority of the U.S. people wake up, and this is what's happening now, right? 
a lot of people are waking up, especially after this whole coronavirus, especially, especially. after all these riots. People are, are, all this is causing people to wake up because they're searching for information. They're listening to the crap on CNN. They're listening it's not to the working. crap on MSNBC. And then they're going on. They're like, this is bullshit. And they're going they're on YouTube. Like, yeah, they're all they're all inciting violence. All these leftist channels, they're they're inciting the freaking violence. Ooh, the, the, you know the, 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 CNN, the, the media, the media, yeah, the Why? media, Don Lemon, because they want chaos. They want they want division. Chaos. They want division. They think that's the only way they're going to win. You know. But it's 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 counteracting now because all this truthful information is coming out. People on the streets are putting out information and showing this is all fucking mm -hmm. this is a false flag. This is people in there like the guy, the white guy who was just breaking the windows and then he walked away. And then he was people chased after him saying, "Hey, what, what the fuck, fuck are you doing? doing? What are you breaking windows for?" I've seen people apparently they're financed by like like Soros, Soros, is most of them, probably like the biggest philanthropist. No, 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 no. And, and, but apparently he's financing a whole bunch of shit. But he's on he's on record he's on video advocating that i need to get more personally involved in u.s elections he's actually said that mm. you know with hillary standing right next to him so. so so let's go back to let's go back to john f k so so john f k john dies f. john f k gets he dies head blown off yeah he gets shot and it, it's actually proven that he he got like all the documents came out right that that he's he got killed by i don't know who but but the, well, I don't all, the, all the proof came out yeah. No, mm -hmm. well, some of them, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so what what's what does he have to do with Trump? And what does he have to do with, so, with Q? John F. Kennedy Jr. Now was killed. Remember in in ninety nine, mm -hmm. he he had a plane crash supposedly. Remember he was he was in a he had a foot he had a broken leg, mm -hmm. and he was he was he was a, he was an aviator. He he had a pilot license mm -hmm. or a private pilot license. He had a Cessna. And he was with that uh, girlfriend at the time, or mm -hmm. wife I think at the time, and he was taking an airplane ride to um, mm -hmm. not too far from where he was going in New York. Mm -hmm. And he was supposed it was bad weather, and his plane went down and he crashed. And, and John he F. Kennedy. So John F. Kennedy Jr. Jr. died with his with his girlfriend or wife and her sister actually. This in 1999. Was he had been touted as being the next senator for New York. Okay. So he was going to be the next senator. Guaranteed, he was going to win because he's John F. Kennedy Jr. Mm -hmm. He's he's the dynasty. He's a Kennedy. He's royalty in the states. So he dies. Who takes his place? Hillary Clinton. She gets to be the senator of New York, and she starts her political career with aspirations of then obviously becoming president, which obviously didn't happen because of Trump. John F. Kennedy Jr. and Donald Trump were very close. They were very close. If you remember, John F. Kennedy Jr. had a magazine. The name of that magazine was called George. Why was his magazine called George? People pass, people are speculating. Because you're a conspiracy theorist. Because I'm a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> so George, people are saying that because he knows a lot about what really happened, the reason why his father was killed and all this kind of stuff, and the people involved. George supposedly is supposed to stay, is supposed to mean that it was George Bush who was the or one of the ringmakers involved in his father's killing George Bush senior because George Bush senior was in fact in Dallas at that very moment in time that he was that John F. Kennedy was killed and then George uh, we all know George Bush senior's you know military or not military but um, career he went to the CIA he was so he George, was George refers to CIA refers to, George, to, to one of the Bushes yeah. Why? 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 Why would John F. Kennedy Jr. have a magazine referring to? So there was a lot, and the, and there was a lot of symbolism in his magazine as well. Too, um, he seemed to have known a lot of things. So the whole idea behind Q now, a certain faction of the whole Q movement believed that John F. Kennedy Jr. faked his actual death, mm -hmm. that he's still in fact alive, mm -hmm. and he is actually the main Q. He's the main. He's the main Q guy person. giving the information. I don't know if giving the information on Crypto yeah. Networks, which is uh, uh, Q Pub. What what is the main them? There's two non dot pub. I mean, there's a few of them. There's, there's a, few. a few of them. They're Crypto Networks, so that they don't know where it's coming from, no. and, and uh, you you could be crypto these days, and you get these now messages. a lot of messages, and all these war, digital warriors actually go and research this, and all that. So so uh, there was a question posed to Q saying is. John F. Kennedy Jr. still alive? And Q said no. 
And that kind of made a lot of people sad because they wanted John F. Kennedy Jr. to be alive and, and come out at some point with Trump and to declare, you know, all this information and, you know. He would be the, kind of the, 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 the main actor that, that, that faked his death for, for, for the, the truth, for, for the, the truth, for the yeah, truth. For the truth. Um, but when the senior dies, who are we talking about? So when, when J JFK died, got his head blown off in 1963, John F. Kennedy Jr. technically is no longer the junior. Because the father's so, dead. So the, the question he was, becomes John F. Kennedy. Yeah, so, so, the question was, so, the, so the, the question was, John, is John F. Kennedy Jr. still alive? And he said no. Because he always... Because John F. Kennedy still alive. Because he always tells the truth, right? Yeah. So, but I, I honestly, I don't know. It's, it's, it seems a little bit far-fetched, even for me, but... Um, no, but, but, but what, what I like about this, guys, because this, 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 this is a fascinating movement for me. So, we're Canadians, right? We're Montreal. We don't really care about, like, what's happening there but but this type of movement well what's curious I'll tell you, this is my analysis okay what's I'm a Bitcoin uh, maximalist and Bitcoin is the exact same thing as Q Bitcoin is a smart cryptid way with an unknown founder Satoshi Nakamoto that we don't know who he is that created this thing that goes against the authoritative powers of money for now yeah <laughs> well, I know you're not too fond on it, but but it, it, for me, it's, it's, I'm just comparing the, like the movements and the what the citizens are doing. Like, like you're, that's what you're doing. You're a digital warrior, and so so for me, this was my kind of understanding that you know, like we can go against the the, the structures, the, the, all the structures, and we can go, we can we can buy Bitcoin and go against the the, the, the globalists or go against the banks and all that. Got a big train passing. What a nice nice guy here. And, but the Q movement, when I found out about Q movement, I was like, wow, it's the same thing. We got this unknown guy that's sending stuff on cryptid networks, and all these people are following and engaging and, 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 and doing their part. And, 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 and Trump, every time he speaks, by the way, this is important because this got me really hooked. When I asked you about Q movement, you were like, yeah, yeah, it's this and this. And then when I started searching myself, I was like, wow. When Trump sends a tweet and there's missing a letter, uh, he, he's not stupid. By the way, he has 153 of the uh, uh, IQ. Does he? Yeah. Apparently, one of the smartest presidents. By the way, so when he makes uh, and, and they call his type of uh, the way he acts asymmetrical warfare, right? <laughs> he just does all sorts of shit. Uh, but when he misspells and you can put the letters together and it, it's all on purpose. Spell stuff. It's all on purpose. The media tries to slam him for it. They slam him. Yeah, it's funny because. There's reasons behind certain letters being missing or misspelled. Mm -hmm. And it all goes back to the Q moves to prove a Q, um, to prove that Q actually is real, that, you know, they're working hand in hand to take down the, the globalists. Yeah. What I like about the, the Q movement is that, well, what I like about the Q movement and about Trump is that apparently from the first day that he went into office, he, he's just sending out all these messages and signals that. He's putting the plan in place that John F. Kennedy Jr. wanted to, to put in, in place to clean the swamp. Mm. So I, I, I like to talk about this because it, it's, a, it's, like just, it's, it's fun. And, and, and I guess that's why it works. But so, so Trump and Melania arrive at the White House with, a, with a, a turquoise gift. And she's wearing the same dress as John F. Kennedy's wife. Same color, yeah. On the day of, the de of his death? Yeah. Same color, and so it's all these symbolisms. I think part of the game is really like, like kind of captivating, but... Um, you have to get into the symbolism, because symbolism is huge. Even in, in, uh, in the Kabbalah, it's, it's all about symbolism. What are you, when you talk about the Kabbalah, you talk about the Bible? No, no. Uh, about, 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 about the Mafia, yeah. the world Mafia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about symbolism. Everything's symbolism. So they're communicating in symbolism, and so is this kind of Q movement. We're using that to kind of prove certain things are true. Like some, certain people would say, can you get Trump to say so-and-so? Mm -hmm. And his next public speech, he'll actually say it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? One of my friends, high school friends, I've been talking to him more a little bit these days, and he, he, we're having all these weird conversations, and he's totally against like what I'm doing. Totally, but we're, we can still have like a lot of respect. And he tells me, yeah, he says, it's like a religion. You believe in it like, like blindly. And I'm like, 
okay, maybe he's right, you know, maybe, and he says, I follow the scientific method and all that, but when you talk about symbolism, it, I, I'm like, okay, like, faith, it, it, like, faith and all these religions and church and Catholicism or whatever, all these fucking symbols that we see, I mean, it, it, it seems like it's one of the best tools to, 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 to restore, not to restore faith or to, to, to bring back I don't know, faith, man. And it, it, like, okay, we can talk about the symbolism in the Kabbalah. Like, like all the symbolism that even Trudeau, Justin Trudeau, used the same symbolism as his dad had to identify himself, I think, whatever, for the globalists. I, I think that's what happened. Anyway. Well, I know there was something with his foundation yeah. being a certain yeah, uh, triangular exactly. logo, which is a pedophile uh, sort of... Uh connotation to it or whatever yeah. it's cool this this symbolism anyways with my my best buddy from high school he tells me yeah i said you guys uh, it's not fact it's, you're just putting the dots together and then you're inventing something and you believe it's the truth and like like i don't know i don't like you're right you know like, uh, like we're, some some stuff is fact a lot of stuff is fact this this q movement is not fact like the symbolism behind that is is not fact but it doesn't matter it, it's still like a lot of fun but but it seems like symbols, uh, I don't know, uh, you, you struck a good, a good note on that. Because there's symbols in the cabal. And we can talk about symbols in movies, if you want. Oh my God. And we, I think we'll put uh, Out of the Shadows as a link. Out of the Shadows, okay. definitely. So, yeah. uh, We've got to see that. I yeah. share that all the time. Yeah. It's the first thing I give people mm. who I think are ready to actually start waking up. Some people you can't even bother mm. with your soul. Mm. And I have friends like that, and we get along no problem. It's just that we just kind of stay out of politics. Or if we do talk politics, we're just kind of yelling back and forth yeah. each other. It's just kind of pointless. You're going to tell me about, about the symbolism in movies, and uh, I want to draw the attention to the people, to the um, uh, show that the, um, the OMS did. What's it in English? The uh, OMS, the uh, Organisation Mondiale de la Santé, the uh, NWO, that they did with all the artists. So just talking about symbolism is that all the artists took a photo of, of, of their face with the eye like this. All of them. And you had Lady Gaga in this sort of a satanic kind of show. It, it was kind of really strange. I don't know if you saw it. No, you didn't uh, see I mean, it. I've seen all so kinds of These are still symbols. We're, we're still talking about symbols here. Yeah. But and that was like, of the recent events, that was a strange You, you thing. can also look at Olympics. You know the opening of Olympics? Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Look at the show openers for the Olympics. It's so weird. Is it? It's so strange. How about the China Olympics? You have people with like babies and the babies are like being killed and it's just, this is the Olympics. This is about a sporting event. Why is it so like dark? Why are they fucked? Why is it so fucked? I, I never noticed this by the way, but I, I'm going to start noticing now. It's so strange. It, they have, they have sick, they're trying to. Why would they give us symbolism? Like, well, this is what you're saying. Let's, 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 let's do translation. They're putting symbolism into the biggest events in the world, including our movies, for what? They're. What's the word? They're. Um, brainwashing us. It is a brainwashing, but they're kind of cultivating our, our, our thinking. Bro, this, I, think, I think this is the best fucking. They're, 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 they're like they're they're conditioning us for submission just like the opposite they want if this is the truth they want the opposite to be the truth right they're conditioning us with this whole like genders now look gender there's, it's no longer just male female there's like I don't know LGBTQ over a hundred uh, over a hundred genders now or something I want if I want to be a unicorn I could to be like I'm a unicorn you know what I mean? If I if I identify as a six year old little girl, I'm a six. They're trying to just backward I backward. And they they use artists for this. Like I said in the NW uh, WHO show, they're using they use movies. They use celebrities a lot. Celebrities oh. are so controlled. Talk about that. They'll seconds. they'll 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 make them tweet out something that is just completely asinine. It's completely ridiculous, and. And if you look at it, like for instance, just just recently, Justin Timberlake and I actually tweet, retweeted, or sorry, I, I commented on Justin Timberlake's tweet because it was so stupid. He said recently, just a few days ago, about these riots. He says, I, "Let's pull money together and raise money for these protesters, really rioters, destroying the cities and bail them out of, out of jail." 
And if you look at his comments, you look at his tweet and you look at his comments, every single comment was slamming him for such stupidity. They were all saying, and even I said, why don't you raise money for the small businesses that these freaking morons destroy? Why would you want to bail out these looters, these criminals, beating people up, destroying, like, some people died. A retired captain just died over TVs. A guy was looting TVs. He was a retired police captain working as a security it's like, guard. It's like divide. Div yeah. Conquer, divide and conquer. Yeah. So, and instead of, of taking the co more common sense approach, okay, let's raise money for these people who lost their businesses. And, and it seems like the crowd... Let's raise money for the criminals. Like the crowds buy into it. Yeah. I, I don't know. Of like, my, my ex Some of them do. But a lot of them, like I said, I was reading the comments and mo all not comments anymore was like but, slamming but, Justin Timberlake. But, 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 but I, I noticed, like, since I'm a bit more awakened, it seems like people... No, 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 the virus. No, we, we, have to, we have to listen to our authorities. And I'm like... You guys are fucking crazy. And my, even my ex-girlfriend, the, the mother of my kids, she was like, no, no, it's, it seems like we're too many people in this world. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's just I normal. Same thing it's just me. normal that, that yeah. the old elderly have to die. I'm like, I'm like what? it seems like they, they went into her brain. We got to do one on the health because I got a lot of information. It on seems that. like they went into her brain and, 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 and brainwashed people to say we, we, we got to kill the elderly. Yeah. I, I was listening to you, I was like, what's that? Speaking what she, about that. What is she saying? Speaking about that. So, the coronavirus... We'll, we'll, we'll do health. We'll do health, okay? Yeah. No, but just to go back on the coronavirus real yeah, quickly. Go ahead. Go ahead. They mandated, and this happened in Canada, this happened in the US, probably elsewhere in Europe and stuff, but they mandated it. If somebody came from a public residence that tested positive for coronavirus, they would not stay in the hospital to self-quarantine and get better. They would go back to the residence, Right? They did that here in Quebec. They did it in Ontario. They go infect it in everybody else. They went. They mandated them back to go to the residence, infect everybody else at the public residences. That's controlled by the you know the state or the government, whatever. And they infected all kinds of people, and that's where all the deaths came from. That's where most of the deaths came from. It was from old residences, people, old people. Eighty percent of the deaths. Yeah. My mother's in a private residence. Her social worker is the one that told me this. I didn't even know about this. She was pissed. She was absolutely pissed at the Quebec government because they mandated that all these old people go back to the freaking residence and quarantine. And they infected all people. In one residence in here in Montreal, 40 people died in one freaking day. 40 elderly. Imagine if, if, if that was your mother or your father. All these families who were infected by this virus mm -hmm. that should not have been. That person who, select, who was you know, mm -hmm. tested positive should have stayed at the hospitals because you know what? The hospitals themselves were not busy. They did not get a whole bunch of people. They were all freaking empty. Mm -hmm. They weren't busy. That's what I heard. They were operating. Every doctor I speak to say, we prepared for a pandemic. We didn't have it. And the same thing happened in the States. And what's, what I find interesting about the States, at least they're talking about it. There's, there's a whole bunch of um, backlash happening now in New York and mm -hmm. all these other cities. Why did you send all these sick elderly back to their residences? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was because of Trump. Oh, it was because of World Health Organization. No, no, no. This is like a global effort to up the numbers of coronavirus. You know what I mean? Uh, when I was like, started, the virus really like shook me up because I, I was like, something's wrong here. Like, I was like, something's really like wrong mm -hmm. from the first day. And then yeah. I got the list of all the artists uh, that, were, that got the coronavirus on the same yeah. day. And I started, I, I, I started searching, and uh, the, for the first day there was like Celine Dion, and there was all these people that had, had the virus. Tom Hanks and his wife. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they all had it. Basketball players, or all kinds of, it was weird. Yeah, they all had it. And uh, I just lost my thought, but uh, it, 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 it was really striking to me. I really had a thought. What were we talking about before? What, right before, like, this, this, this like a thought, anyways. It was, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we shouldn't have drank. We shouldn't have drank. No, but I really had a good thought. Like, what does it matter? No, but we got to do a health one because our health industry is... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead with that. It'll, it'll, it'll come back. No, it, it, if it, it comes back. Huge, it's just such a huge go ahead, topic. Go ahead, yeah, go it's ahead. such a huge topic with our, with our health. People getting sick in their 40s, 50s, 60s with diabetes, heart disease, all that kind of stuff. It's so avoidable and it's so simple. We've complicated everything in our life with, with regards to health. Pharmaceuticals, the big pharma. Oh, big pharma, it's, they control our agriculture. Our food has no, what it comes down to is that our food mm -hmm. 
has no nutrients. I don't care if you if you buy all organic food, eat all kinds of vegetables, and, and you can stay away from meat and make sure you eat really really well. You're not. You're gonna get diabetes. You're gonna get heart disease. You're gonna die from some sort of mineral oh, nutrition. Conspiracy theories, bro. Big time. <laughs> so are you saying? So let me do a tr translation here. Are you saying that their feet, that all the food that we have is just basically just deficient like in minerals, killing us? It's not killing us. It's lacking the nutrients that's supposed to be in there to begin with. We're we're a carbon-based body. We require nutrition in order for all of there's a trillions of things going on in your body. All that stuff mm -hmm. runs on nutrients. What are we talking about? We're talking about sixty minerals. 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and two to three fatty acids, 369 mm -hmm. fatty acids. We need those on a daily basis just to function normally. Mm -hmm. If you exercise, if you, if you, if you do spo a lot of sports, you need even more because every time you sweat, you're sweating out nutrients, you're sweating out minerals that's just mm -hmm. going through your blood. So the whole, and I follow Dr. Wallach. I've learned this all from Dr. Joel Wallach. He's a brilliant, brilliant doctor. Mm -hmm. He's researched this. He's now in his late seventies, I believe. Um, started a company, which he doesn't even make money from. Mm -hmm. He makes money from his books and from his lectures that he travels and, and goes to talk to people. He basically came down to that. You need 90 nutrients every day to function optimally. If you get those 90 nutrients, you will not have diabetes. You will not have heart disease. You will not have cancers. You will not have any of this stuff. All this sickness that's happening to us at such early ages, even now in children, children are getting diabetes. It's because our food is deficient. It's completely deficient. How much money have we put in cancer and we still haven't found the cure? I know. It's such a war on cancer. I don't donate to anything. I'm like, screw that. All it does is put money in the, in the hands of doctors and pharmaceutical companies no, we should, we should who have, have no money to UNICEF. intent on UNICEF. helping us. UNICEF is a good organization. It's, it's good. And the Red Cross, <laughs> and the Red Cross, and, the Red Cross. Yeah. and I saw because uh, UNICEF is uh, Clinton, I think it belongs to Hillary. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. And the Red, uh, all, all, basically, listen, like as good conspiracy theorists, bro, all the fucking big organizations are screwing us. They're not there for the intended thing, but but uh, sorry, I sorry, I I, 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 want to, I want to stay on health because I mean th this is the topic of the hour, anyways, with with the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and the, 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 screwing the virus, the, screwing us. the, the screwing whole us. fact that you think you need to vaccinate people. I mean, you don't need to vaccinate. Everybody has an immune system. If you're in optimal shape, if you're getting your nutrients, you can fight off a disease, any disease, right? How about like the the the, 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 the Ebola and all that? I mean, uh, the, like some some of these viruses, we still do need to do some shit. I, I don't know. I'm just not, like. Just, I'm what? My, what shit? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, some of these viruses are, are pretty dangerous and we needed to quarantine or whatever. I, not the coronavirus. So here, here's the thing, and we have to do a separate video on this because it's yeah. so important. Chlorine dioxide. Chlorine dioxide. Okay? I discovered this guy years and years ago. His name was Jim Humble. We're going to do a video just on this it, because it's it. so interesting. It's so important that everybody understand that chlorine dioxide could literally kill any virus, bacteria, yeah. or parasite. Well, that's the, 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 the chlorine is that's chlorine. Yeah. The chlorine. Chlorine. Uh, chlorine. I, I'm not sure if it's, if it it's is. the same. It is. It is. Is it chlorine dioxide? Yeah. It's in the way out. I don't know. Yeah, and, and that's another topic. The whole, no, no, but it is. So when, when Trump, and it's funny, go back and watch the video mm -hmm. of Trump in his press conference yeah, well, when he first said, we're looking at treatments of hydroxychloroquine and look at Dr. Birx's facial expression right after he said that. She is like flabbergasted. Completely and utterly flabbergasted. She had absolutely no idea that Trump was going to talk about hydroxychloroquine, which has been used for over 60 years. It's FDA approved to treat malaria and other, another illness. And they banned it in so many countries. After Trump talks about it, doctors start using it. And a whole bunch of democratic states, governors banned them, mother banned it, literally they banned, banned it. it. They made it illegal. Made it illegal. They controlled the the, um, the pharmacy uh, industry to stop giving it banned to doctors. It a poisonous substance. 
Oh my god, it is literally the cure. I mean, when I was seeing that, I'm like, thing. man, what, what's this fucking masquerade? Mm -hmm. uh, Elon Musk tweeted, uh, this should do the trick. I, I, I saw it, like, I, was, I get all the Elon Musk tweets. Yeah. And then uh, Trump talked about it the next day. And then, like, all, and all the industry just, they just got all mixed up after that. It's like, no, we can't. No, it's dangerous. And I was like, oh, we found the cure. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's literally the cure. I was like, yeah. oh, shit, sure, we found the cure. Perfect. This is done. Hey. hey. It wasn't done because they, were, they, they started coming out with all these studies. And you know what makes me laugh, bro, is that it seems like the populations are sleeping because the, 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 it's coming out, the news comes out, and then we get a, a study here, a contradictory study, mm -hmm. and then another thing. Yeah. And everybody, you see all these people fighting on Facebook. And it's like they're making fucking fun of us. Mm -hmm. They're treating us fucking fools. That's what I think. Well, it's as a, as a regular person, you see these supposedly good institutions with completely opposite results. That's why we're all mixed up. And they're no kidding. And that's by design. And they want us to be mixed up. They want us to just say, okay, I want to fuck everything. Everybody's fighting. And, I don't want to, and then you know, everybody's you know, acting like the doctor. But we, we have these global institutions that are supposed to do it. But they're not doing it. And, and they're, just, they're just blurring the cards. And then this is what, what's, what I noticed is that once they, re they remove the funding from WHO... Uh, That's over four hundred million dollars. Yeah, they by far the they, biggest they, they supporter. They removed the funding. Government. Removed the funding, and then so you got Trudeau. That, so the, the, they don't have the money anymore, and they, they got to change their their their, disc, their their narrative. And then so so probably to all the leaders of the global countries, which my, the globalist countries are, Canada, Spain, whatever, Italy, France, uh, uh, England. So and then so WHO doesn't tell them what to do. So they so they're going on on, on the mic. And they don't know what to say to the, 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 the crowds anymore. And then it's, like, yes, masks, no masks. Mm. Yes, chloroquine, no chloroquine. It's all Dr. Fauci was They're on all the record. Up. Dr. Fauci was on the record at the beginning of this saying masks don't, won't do a damn thing. It, it won't protect you for anything. Two weeks later, it was like, yeah, everybody has to wear a mask. He's wearing a mask. It's like, no, it's no, like a complete they're, change. They're learning how to fly, like oh, the Wright brothers. No, what they're doing is they're, they're learning as they go, bro. You know how dangerous it is to, to wear a mask the, the entire day? Because you're breathing in carbon monoxide, your own carbon monoxide. You know how unhealthy that is for you? It is un I see people jogging outside with a freaking mask on. Bro, what's wrong what with What they're doing is they're, they're learning about the virus. And, and, and they're, they're learning how to manage the situation. They're learning as they go. Mm. It's all bullshit, man. It's all bullshit. Oh my god, and then, and then when you go out in the fucking Walmart, whatever, and they're all wearing these masks, I'm like... Not only that, they're wearing a mask, and then the plastic face shield, that's the best. You ever seen that one? No. The plastic, you don't see that? Yeah. They're wearing yeah. a mask, and then they have a plastic face shield. It's like, oh okay. my god. So, note to all the people that will wake up to all of what we've said. I mean, <clears throat> if these people do realize that the state's... The nation states are just fucking ridicule. They're laughing at us right now. And when these people are going to, I think, I think when some more people are going to wake up, there's going to be much bigger riots than what we're seeing right now. Or, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. What might happen is if once they come out with information, if some, if somebody major is arrested, like who could even be James Comey, who was the former FBI director. Even if he's arrested, there might be even riots. There might be people that are so far gone, brainwashed by the left that they'll protest that. Even though he was... Am I, left, am I left, uh, on the left? No, I don't think so. I, 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 don't, I don't know about this right-left so. bullshit, I whatever. Think so, yeah. <laughs> I think if, even if he's arrested, but they have to get a certain amount of people awake before they reveal. Because if they go out and arrest Hillary, arrest Colmey, arrest Brennan... too big. It's too big. It's too much for people to take. They'll think it that Trump is being a dictator and he's just arresting people, right? They need mainstream media to change, to change their narrative completely, to say the, the truth. truth. Mainstream media has how, such power. How are they going to do so that? How are they going to do gonna that? It's going to happen. They have no choice. You know how much pressure I put on the media in Quebec, man? Bro, man, you can't imagine. But yeah. I, like, I have a pretty pressure. We went, we ride it out and we were like... Uh, Cut the uh, cable, cut the cable, but, no. and 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 uh, we were putting out fake press releases. We put out a fake press release, and it says uh, whatever some bullshit, and then it says please check your sources before believing anything. It was just so fucking funny. 
Our right. media in Canada is so bad. It's we're in such worse shape in the states. It's people Are we? don't even realize why. Because we're hundred percent controlled. I see no resistance. I see no resistance to to what's what's happening. I mean, Trudeau and his government. Trudeau is first of all not in power. Let's just. He's the face. He doesn't look like he's in power. <laughs> Did you see the video of him making up? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Did you see? Apparently, yeah. I showed it to my wife. She was eating. She almost threw up her freaking food. Bash was laughing. They asked him a question about Trump. Yeah, and he paused for a minute. How long did he pause? Like, what was that all about? Um, because it wasn't scripted. He was thinking in his head. This was not in the script. What am I supposed to respond to this? Oh, is it? I don't know. Uh, this guy. Did you know? Did you know? I heard his wife left him. Did you hear that? You didn't hear that? No. Supposedly he's at the cottage by himself. His wife was with the kids at another cottage somewhere. He's else. going through some dark times. Supposedly she left. I, I posted that on my Facebook. There was an article. Only one media outlet actually reported this. I, I already communicated with her, by the way, because she used to work for a media outlet, uh, LCN, Sophie Grégoire. And I, I liked her on, and when I saw her covering, she was covering entertainment. I contacted her. I said, oh, we want to cover whatever we we're doing. And uh, so I knew her before she was with, uh, I knew about, about her. I, I don't even know if she responded, but, and then she, she got married to him. Tell me something. So regarding media, yeah. what is your view on the fact that media supposedly is supposed to be very unbiased? They My present facts and can't really give an opinion. Because I find that wrong. I find that wrong because news media, reporters, journalists are supposed to go out there and find the truth and report whether our authorities, our government is actually going against what they're supposed to be doing. They're supposed to be the ones figuring out criminal activity in, in a sense, right? They're supposed to. They're supposed to. So I don't agree with this whole, well, we're just presenting, because if you look at the CBC, Global TV, CTV, all they do is listen to what the government says and present that to us without any other conversation. They should right? be having they're just, they're just this blow horns for the government. Having, they should be having this conversation. They don't question. I, I didn't get the question yet, but, but we can talk about just open. I, I think the format of the, the clip, the news clip, is, is done. I think that the main media has taken their last breath. Yeah. I think we need long form discussions on issues of society. The Joe Rogan uh, kind of uh, format where we're, we're talking, we're, we're discussing on issues that, that, that have been either hidden. Uh, uh, but what I noticed as an artist is that everybody tries to get like uh, uh, more uh, more capital uh, for them. Like any jur journalist that talks about me, he's trying to get more views for himself. Uh, he's trying to get more, 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 a big article that, 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 that bangs or, but, but we're a bit, society's a bit of victim of their own poison. Is that we're all uh, speculating on, on what's the, the, the biggest subject of the hour. Like I can tell yeah. you, hey, this happened. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. We're, everything's we're, breaking news. Everything is breaking news. Like, like we like gossip. Yeah. So we're a bit victim of that. That's yeah. why our news media, and, and we like fear. It gives us kind of a, I think, it gives us kind of a, like yeah. a rush. Where that's it why is, it, it is a double. That's why sword. news works yeah. so well. But yeah. but we we have to get away from that. And um, I think I do the same thing too. But 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 uh, for me, I think this long form kind of content is what needs to happen in media. Uh, you can't have these clips just saying this happened because you don't get the full. Like, and even I think if journalists call me still and they want to do a thing, they're going to misinterpret what I, who I'm all about because they're going to say, hey, he's a conspiracy theorist and he follows Q and he's whatever left or right or whatever that bullshit is. Yeah, they though. label you. They put and you then, on and then, and then, And then it's done. I mean, and then, You have to record every time you speak to these people. Yeah, that's you a good idea. You literally have to record everything. I'm going to do that. And tell them, so listen, you're, you're you know, interviewing me. I'm recording this for my own. Yeah. From my own records. Like for, coming from a digital you warrior, have to. You have from to. a digital soldier. Yeah, you have to. Um, but but they're, 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 I think they've taken their last breath inter with this virus. I think the real information is on the web. And when I have to chuckle when some of my people say, yeah, well, the, 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 
the citizen journalist. The, I mean, they're just it's somebody from their basement just talking about. I'm like, that's bullshit, man. I mean, I mean, we we can we can check 25 videos and make ourselves our own opinion, as opposed to listening to fucking ABC or CBS. And I think we we can tell. And I well, I think we can tell what the truth is. I don't know. I think you can tell what the truth is. You're, you're, just by the, you kind of the intent of yeah, a person. You, you, you can, I don't know. Yeah. Some people that, that really stick to facts are like, well, how do you know that's a fact? Like, it's all that's not all facts. You know what I tell them sometimes? Because I'm a bit spiritual. I say, you know what? I just feel that it's wrong. The virus was wrong from the first second. Mm -hmm. It just felt wrong. And sometimes when I hear news, like uh, the big the bees that are against uh, every, there's killer bees. I think that's wrong. And so I think it's make, everything that makes us scared is wrong, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and if you notice, mainstream media is all about scaring you. It's it all is. about keeping you in fear. It is. Because that's how they control you. Yeah. 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 Pretty cool. I think you've got to I mean, run to your kids, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how long have we got here? Have we got an hour and then we had another half hour? It's too long. But, uh, it's too long. I no, don't think anybody's watching it. Yeah, anymore. trust me. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, uh, you'd be surprised, bro. Uh, you know why you'd be surprised? Because it's just we're just we're just conversing and we're going on stuff that people don't know about so uh, I think I think this is like super interesting uh, thanks for the conversation man from a, from a digital um, warrior a digital soldier uh, to another digital soldier um, it was an amazing conversation yeah I think what you're doing is great yeah I thanks, think, man. Uh, trying to wake people up a little bit is is, is definitely helpful mm -hmm. and it's gonna bring us to that promised land yeah, I really, I really believe that. We'll do it again because I, I, I'm sure that we covered only like a tenth of what you know. Because <laughs> every time I talk to you, there's, there's so much. There's a lot. There's so much. There's a lot. But um, we'll send it to our common friend that he hooked us up, our friend Thierry. We'll send this to Thierry. Oh my uh, God! He'll he, 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 he respect, bro. He'll respect. <laughs> hey, team. Cheers, man. All right, bro. To this. Uh... Salut tout le monde. Okay. Great conversation, man. Thanks, yeah. man. We'll, we'll redo it, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Take care.